Uh, hey, this is not a sponsored ad. This is not a sponsored post. I'm no fucking sellout. Cool. Okay, let me tell you a story. So just a few months back, I was in the great city of Las Vegas, Nevada, playing a corporate gig for a small company that you guys may be familiar with. I'm not gonna name any names. I'm not sleazy like that and it doesn't really matter. Um, cool thing was uh, we got to see a tournament from a popular sports program. I'm not gonna name it. Definitely not gonna name it. Um, and a very good friend of mine is filling in on guitar and uh, we were tasked with booking our own travel accommodations. So this time I said, fuck it, we're gonna stay at Excalibur. We got all our shit, we got like travel gear, you know, all my shit fits in my guitar bag. I bring two guitars. My friend, he brings two guitars. He's got a Gibson guitar in a hard shell case, a Fender guitar in like this very like paper thin gig bag with no strap on it. So you're just like carrying this. And then he's got a pedal board with no case and uh, not even a bag, free balling. You know what I mean? Loose pedal board. So this dude is fucking carrying the two guitars, like one hand, and that's a heavy Les Paul guitar and the fucking pedal board, the big ass pedal board in the other hand, fucking cruising through the casino of Excalibur like this. I hope I don't drop my shit. In case you guys haven't been to Excalibur in a while, it's renovated, it's pretty nice now, but the rooms are fucking way at the back of the casino. That is a long, walk to be carrying heavy shit that you like definitely shouldn't be carrying. It's just fucking goofy. So the end of the story is you should buy a fucking bag or like some case with wheels. You don't want to be walking through the casino at Excalibur holding all your shit. It's really obnoxious. It makes no one feel good. Once you've played a ton, that's the shit you get excited about. It's not like, oh, my fucking new pedal or my fucking new guitar. It's like, no, like I got these new Dr. Scholl's insoles and a gig bag with a padded strap. So what I look for in a case, these are important things. Number one, it needs to be comfortable to carry. It should be have padded straps, like definitely should have shoulder straps, bonus points if it comes with wheels, appropriate weight distribution. You wanna make sure that it's padded enough that if it's in your trunk or like in your van and it's rolling around or some other gear rolls on top of it that your guitar doesn't fucking explode, that is important. It's good to have extra storage, like if you can consolidate your stuff so you can keep like cables and small accessories in your gig bag, that is important. The footprint of the bag is important. So like, can I take this bag in an overhead compartment or is it too giant that it won't fit on a plane and you have to check it and you shouldn't check things in a bag. Made out of high quality material. I know that's, that's like a tougher one for when you're buying shit on the internet, but like make sure that it's like high quality zippers. That is the shit that breaks the most on bags for me anyway. The tracks rip off. That shit is a nightmare. One last thing you should definitely make sure of before you purchase a bag for your guitar is that it matches the application you need it for. This might sound really stupid, but uh, I would assume there's a lot of people out there who have, let's say, a hollow body or semi-hollow guitar that is wider than a Fender Stratocaster and they buy a case or a bag and it's like, oh shit, my guitar doesn't fit in it. So I got this fat ass guitar that uh, needs a special case. Or maybe, maybe you'd really like a case that has space for two guitars in it. Maybe you need a case for a flying V, one acoustic and one electric. You can find all that sort of stuff, but it's important to like look around and not buy something that doesn't help you with what you need. Like sounds so stupid to say, but I know that it exists because I've purchased guitars from people and they're in the dumbest fucking cases that do not fit the guitar. They're either too big, too small, and it doesn't make any sense to me. So it's worth spending a little extra money because if you get something nice and take care of it, it will last a long, long time. And you use this every gig, which is funny. We don't think about these bags being such sexy, hot items that you order for 20% off on adamandeve.com, but it really is something that'll help you in your love life and beyond. Here are my fresh wrecks. This is shit that you should have if you're rich. Number one and number all of them, the mono creators Gig bag, mono. It's in your system forever. Well, this is the M80 guitar bag. It's padded as fuck. It's sleek. It's got like uh, some kind of like hard foam shit right here. It's got this headlock US. Can we get that patent number in there? Patent number 7,687,701. Other patents are pending. So it's not just that one. We got a real fucking Thomas Edison going on in here. Anyway, the neck rests comfortably here. That's important because that's like the most fragile part of your guitar. The zippers are high quality. That's awesome. There is a shitload of storage, which is really cool. This top one, you can put stuff in there. You can put a little ID card, you put your Costco card in there. This mofo down here, you can do like cables, pedals, decorative Disney plates, 
whatever you need, you can put in that. Comfortable straps. They also have this, this very cool accessory called the Tick, which is kind of like a backpack, but it clips into these three D rings. Um, and you can fit a bunch of stuff in there. How I use this in this top part, I have my small wireless system, not a rack mount, but small wireless system, my in-ears, my small in-ear wireless system, a string winder cutter, a guitar lube, that's important. Sometimes a clip-on tuner, if I'm playing like an acoustic gig or whatever. And then down here, in this bad boy, I fit a Headrush MX-5. That's like all my amps and effects right in one little box. And cables, DI, and oh, and like power, and like a power strip, and like, you know, all the shit that comes along with that. So literally, like if I'm going to a, a gig, like a quick cover gig or whatever the fuck, I can just bring this and that's the only thing I need, and uh, these last a really long time. Another beautiful option is the Mono Vertigo bag. Mono, always coming back for more. The thing that's different about the Vertigo is that it has this fucking shoe on the bottom. Shoes for your feet. So if you have a guitar in here, you can just do that, and it would be like dropping your Skechers on the floor, which is cool if you're clumsy like me. I've destroyed many a guitar. It's got a bigger pocket here. It does not have the top head pocket, but this is a worthwhile investment. Having a piece of shit case that breaks or the zippers break or something rips, not worth it. I have one that carries two guitars, ones that carry basses. They make everything. I have uh, defected a little bit and experimented with other cases and have experienced disastrous results. But uh, I trust these and I really like them. They answer my emails and, and that's, uh, that's good for me. They are totally worth it, but they are really expensive. So I understand if you don't have the financial means to go out and grab a mono bag, you can find them used on Reverb for maybe like 150 bucks. Update, urgent, urgent update. Okay, right after we filmed this video, I actually found some other options. San Gabriel Music, thank you so much for the rec. San Gabriel Music, check them out. Tom and Music makes this case, the Safe Case 80, like an affordable version of the mono bag. It has all the same bells and whistles and it comes with their version of the mono tick. And this comes basically for free in the Toman case, but it looks to be very similar in construction at about a third of the price for around $100. I'm here to save you some money. I have no affiliation with any of these companies. Anyway, Anyway, Tommen, safe case, better, cheaper, stronger, end update. A lot of other companies are making good cases. I know the Strandberg case is really good and that is pretty affordable. Make sure you look out for the features. You know that it's padded, it's comfortable on your back, the shoulder straps are padded, there's storage space, all that kind of shit, you know? It's important, it's something that you're gonna use every day that most people don't think about.